Do I really have to do this? Do do I really have to play the Zora? Do the Zora dungeon? Uh, why or why Ocarina? Why do you? Why producers of o Ocarina? Why do you have to design this dungeon? Anyways, this is the Rampaging Gamer. Welcome to welcome to Let's Play Ocarina Time. In the last parts, we finished the train quest and got the big Goron sword, which I can't really show because we're underwater. In this episode, it's pretty obvious what we're doing after what I did in my intro there. Anyway, all I have to do is shoot this jewel, which I'm missing apparently. Well, I don't think I'm missing, but the game says I'm missing because the game's a dick sometimes. Alright, let's go in and use our head to go through the gate apparently. One good thing I do have to say about this dungeon is I love the music. So peaceful. Um, hold on, be right back. Sorry about that, I am back. I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, I like the music here. That's about it. Okay, for a second there I thought I still had the armpit song. Yeah, this is the one dungeon. Already confused and already tired of seeing tech types. Well, get used to it. No, I also forgot the first thing you're supposed to do. Um, I know you're supposed to go down there, but am I still a good idea to go here first? You know, what, I'm gonna go down here just because. I actually think there is something here for us. Yeah, this is the room I thought it was. Okay, basically what you want to do is pull, pull, pull this right here. Remember that it's here because I had a friend who played through this dungeon and got stuck and for completely forgot about this area. Yeah, I had to help her out. It was kind of funny. Anyways. Anyway, get used to the menu because... Oh, why did I go on the menu twice? Yeah, every time you have to put on your iron boots, which is a lot, a lot in this game, well, this dungeon, you have to go to your menu and do it. And I believe this is the right way. In the 3DS version, they improved it because the menu is at the bottom of the screen. And it's the slot. Oh, you? If I'm right, Link? You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiance, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. I never forgot about the vows. Oh, wow, that was a bad crack there. Back voice crack there. We made it to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years, but I know a way you can make it up. But now's not the time to talk about love or do love, if you know what I mean. Well, actually, me make love, that's what I should have said. <laughs> I'm sure you already seen it. Zora's domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my fat-ass father and the other Zoras have not yet... Uh, I want to save them. I want to save Zora's domain. You have to help me. This the re this is a request for from me. The woman who is going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three palaces. Places, pal not palaces, God. <laughs> Where you can change the water temple. I'll lead the way. Follow me quickly. Sorry for my failed. That I don't even know what to say. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyways, that's the last you'll see of her throughout this entire dungeon. Thank God. No. Oh, why do I always do that? God. Yeah. Sorry for my failed attempt on trying to. Personally, a horror, a horror voice there, but sadly failed. 
Well, actually, not a poor voice, more like a prostitute. Anyways, what you want to do is go in here. And defeat these assholes. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you all. What? That was cheating. Get used to those enemies, because you're going to see a lot of them. Yeah, th this dungeon has the most annoying enemies. There is one redeeming enemy in this dungeon that is worth going through. Makes it worth going through this dungeon. All those who play through this dungeon and live to tell the tale knows what I'm talking about. I highly doubt I'll be able to show in this episode, but maybe the next episode or the episode after that. I don't know. I hope. I'm going to try to get to go through this as fast as I can. I know. Yeah, there we go. Every time you see these signs, it, that's not the right one. You have to sing Zora's... Zora's Bracken God. Zelda's Lullaby. I almost said Zora's Lullaby. Yeah, there's three of those things, and... Yeah, basically, you have to... Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> oh, great commentary so far. That's a cool camera shot there, I will admit. Oh god, I hate these guys. I just want to test something out real quick. Can these things burn? Can this burn them? Hey, there we go. There's a speedrunning technique for you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the speedrunners loved Inspire. Besides the Dragon Ball Z animation there. Anyway, let's explore the bomb floor. Now the top room there, ignore it for now. Let's go over here. Yeah, ignore going through that door for now. Until you collect a certain amount of keys and you need a bomb here. Let's dive in. See what's on the other side. Actually, I could pr I could have probably have just used my golden scale there. And yeah, here's a faster way of getting through there. Oh yes, this room. Perfect, because we totally need for the water rays. Although that thing's going up too, so that's great. Lower, please, not upper. <laughs> Thank you. So many arts. Anyway, what you want to do here is spin attack. Spin attack. I said spin attack. Oh yeah, wait. Great spin attack. Right. Since you can't use the quick great spin attack in this game, you can only do that with dress mask. And that's our... 67th. No. Well, almost done the game. Good, because I want to finish this let's play once and for all. Yeah, I'm really determined to finish this let's play after that two month break. I really wish I could have been uploading. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be uploading Frequently, fre 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 frequently, for the next couple of weeks until this let's play is done. Then I'll try to actually have a schedule for the two, possibly three let's plays after this that I'm planning to do. Anyway, let's head over here and push this block because I want to. For no apparent reason, that's all. And I hear a tech type behind me, please don't go over the edge and hurt me. 
and rape me in the butts. Because I really don't like that. It doesn't feel that great. Yeah, the golden scale is really great to have in this dungeon. And let's bring my arrows. Your, your arrows are going to be very useful in this dungeon as well. Fuck you, you're wasting my arrows. What the fuck? I don't even get to pick up my arrow. My aim sucks. And is there some yeah, there's a crystal here. Ugh. But luckily, it gives you a lot of time and... Oh boy, this room! Fun. Iron boots, please. You definitely want to bring out your hooks up throughout this entire dungeon. Because you'll be using it a lot, as you can see. Shoot that. Which is actually fairly hidden. I actually like how they hit it there. Now let's run over here and get across this gate before the thing closes in. Get out of my fucking way. Boots. Ow, oh, fuck you, clams. I hate them so much. Anyways, let's open up this chest. And we get a small key. There's actually a lot of small keys in this dungeon. Just a heads up. A lot. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, there we go, Link. Let's get out of this whirlpool of doom. And start heading back. Take tag. I left you. I, I'm leaving you alive. Please eat me. Fuck you. Where are you at? I want to kill you. I left you alone. I was going to leave you alive. But then you have to be a douche and hit me. And because of that, now you're dead. That was your fatal mistake. Whoa! Upskirt shot. And hook shot, please. Shit. Ah, of course. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't responding there at first. Iron boots off, iron boots on, iron boots off. You'll be seeing a lot of that. And let's finally go through this door. This room is very interesting. Um, oh. Let's head up here. And hook shot, our, hook shot our way up there. And here's our second level sign thing. Now, here's something you do not want to miss. Or else it'll come back and rape you in the butt. And I'm going to land on the spikes on that. Yes, I am. Uh, resist the spikes. What? Oh. Yeah, there's a secret room. Well, not really a secret because it's required to come here. The screen doesn't really show you much of this path secret pathway here some people like it how it well hidden it is most people hate it hate it me being one of them the 3ds version definitely did a lot better because they actually use the camera and show where this hidden room is and can I use this fire underwater I highly doubt it but I really don't want to face them can I shit okay use my sword so Mally Thing I got is hook shot. Oh fuck you, Sp spikes! Ew. 
Fuck you all. Oh god. Clam sub doom. Oh god, I hate these guys. Open your mouth. Say ah. There we go. Say ah, but clam. I almost said spike. That wasn't so bad. Oh, wrong way. Camera, cooperate, please. That would be very nice. And up here, I believe we get another key. Yes, it's a small chest. Usually they contain keys, and this one definitely does. Yeah, definitely do not want to forget that. That's... That's a very missable key there. Anyways, let's explore the second floor now. Once I float up there, slowly. Faster. Oh god, yeah! Water Temple is Speedrunner's Nightmare. And the door's locked. And I hear tech tights. That's over here. Just because I want to. And I always appreciate hearts when I'm not full. And I hear lots of water running. Let's head up here and I see a water sprout. Okay, I remember this room. I want to go on the other side. Oh god. Actually, let's go up there. Actually, I think this is a great spot to be on. Shoot that sensor thing. Why are you so sensitive? Oh. Yeah, they give you very little time to collect this. That's why you want to shoot it. And you get the compass from that. Not required, but... I highly recommend it. Highly. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because I don't like this place. And I don't like this dungeon in general. I was gonna grab the, po grab the pots, but whatever. I don't give a shit about pots. And that room is not important. Okay, I'm stopping the video for a second to inform the people that might possibly be playing along with my let's play. Now, before you go through that door, you'll need three keys. As you can see, I only have two. And that is because I forgot one, and you can only get it when the water level is on the second level. Now, the key I missed is near the room where you first meet Princess... Well, not first meet, but you meet Princess Ruto, and... Up on the second floor, in the room, there is a giant crack on the wall, which you can destroy by using a bomb. Behind the wall is where you will, need, you will find the key. So again... It's only obtainable when the water is at the second level, so make sure you get this key before entering this door. You will know why at my next episode. That is all. I hear tech tights, I don't know where they are. So let's go through this door. Okay, now we're in this room. This and I hear tectites. I don't like it. I know you're here somewhere. You're probably gonna knock me off this worst spell as you always do. Oh god! Hey, you didn't knock me off like you usually do. I thank you for that tectite, but you still attack me, so you're still a douche. Anyway, here's the third sign. Oh, uh, do you know what I forgot to do? I also forgot, I highly recommend using Pharaoh's Wind and use it at the first sign. Since I forgot to do that, I'm going to use it here. Oh, wow. Well, apparently I used one. Definitely don't remember using one in this episode. <laughs> yeah, placing one up here is a good idea. If you forgot to put the one down there. Better than nothing. Oh 
Okay, we're running a little high on time, so in the next part, we'll continue on in this dreaded, dreaded water temple. Until then, I've been the Rampaging Gamer. Subscribe if you like this video and post comments down below. We'll, I'll see you in the next one.